Hi, Hi people watchers. watchers! I'm Frank. And I'm Brandon. And today we're going to play Lost Cities, a two-player card game. We really enjoy this game. We are very excited to be sharing it with you all. We're going to explain to you how to play, and let's start by just explaining the rules. So the premise of this game is that we are two people that are on an expedition. We are explorers, and we are exploring various parts of the earth, ranging from the, over here we have the, what is this one? Volcano. A mysterious volcano, a Central American rainforest, the bottom of the sea, the Himalayan mountains, and an Egyptian desert. So this game kind of plays like a two-player solitaire. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. It's really fun. It's relatively light and easy to learn. Uh, this is an updated version of the game. The original uh, came out a while ago and they recently updated it. The artwork is really beautiful. We have the deck over here, as you can see, and then on, we'll show you our hands. As you can see, just the artwork is really beautiful for these cards. They feel good. So basically, the uh, goal of the game is to get as many points as possible. There are three rounds. And we're just going to go through one round, so that way you can see how the game flows. So it's uh, it's only a two-player game. Each player starts out with eight cards, correct? Yes. So we've got our eight cards here. We don't know what the other player has. Uh, there are a few different, couple different types of cards. Firstly, there are expedition cards. So there, as you can see, there's five different colors of cards. Each of those colors has a card that could be any number from 1 to 10. Yes. Correct? Uh, so those are the expedition cards. There's also something called wager cards, which uh, indicate each of them have a picture of someone who's two people that are shaking hands. These are very special cards because they can multiply the points that you get throughout the game. So those cards you can play really strategically. So uh, the oldest player goes first. Why don't we just begin and go from there? So Brandon's first. On your turn, you have the choice to, uh, you need to play a card and then you pick a card. And we, when we learned this game, we would just keep repeating, play a card, pick a card, play a card, pick a card. It helped us understand uh, just the rules. Uh, and we continue going through the round until we run out of cards here in the deck. All right, so Brandon, why don't you explain to everyone what you're gonna do for your turn? All right. So here are my cards, and you see that I only have one of this one. So I'm gonna play that one because I don't need it in my hand. So I'm gonna play a card and then pick a card. Mm, okay, so Brandon is discarding this two of red. So these are all of the discard piles. And if we decide to play a card, we're actually gonna play it on our respective sides of the board. So one of the cool things about this game is that you can, when you are picking a card, you can choose to pick a card from the draw pile or from the top facing card of each of the discard piles. So if I wanted to, I could pull up the two of red. So that was Brandon's turn. I haven't even really organized my colors here. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Are you making faces? No. I see you making faces. Um, Something else to know is that the scoring of this game really does make a big difference. You don't necessarily just want to play all of your cards because there's a cost to start an expedition of one of these various paths. The cost is 20 points. So if you don't accumulate, when you add up all of your, uh, your card totals for that path, if you don't get at least 20 points, then you're actually going to lose points for that expedition. So when you're deciding which cards you want to play, you want to you want to anticipate that you're going to have at least 20 points. So right here you can see that I've got these two cards right here that almost get me to 20 points, right? So I'd have a pretty good shot of earning a, a, a positive versus getting a negative for those. So that's just one indicator. Okay, I think I'm going to, for my turn, and I don't know if you said uh, how each card is worth the amount of points. Each number is worth the amount of points. Yeah. So this is worth seven. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's also uh, something really cool in the game called wager cards, which I mentioned a little bit before. Basically, if you decide to play a wager card on your side, that will double whatever the point total is for that expedition. So that could work for you or against you, because if you still don't have at least 20 points added up in that expedition, then you will double the negative effect of that. So there's three wager cards for each of the colors, and every time you play one, you go from doubling to tripling, even quadrupling if you play, uh, if you play all three of the wager cards on your path. So those definitely add a twist to the game, which is kind of fun. Um, all right, so I am going to start off by, oh my gosh, this game. I think I got to play a card, pick a card, right? So yep. I could choose to put a card in my area or put a card here in the discard, and then I have to pick a card. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is put this blue wager card here, okay? So that's my turn. I played a card and now I have to pick up a card. I could I could take the two of red or I can take this. I'm actually going to take the two of red. So what this is telling me is he probably has a bunch of blues that go t close <laughs> to 20 points. And when he was saying, that means he does. <laughs> and then when he took the red, that means most likely he already has a lot of reds. So I got to be, uh, I got to remember like, if I'm going for blue and he's going for blue, it's going to be a little bit tougher. And not to give him any more blue if I'm not going for blue. The same with red. Now I know he's getting red. I already put down red. I do not want to keep giving him red, feeding him cards. So play a card. I want to shake the table. And pick a card. Play a card, pick a card. I'm going to play the yellow seven. So he's discarded that. And pick up this card. All right. I'm not giving him that card. <laughs> All right. Play a card, play a card, play a card. What do I want to play? I think... I think... Oh. So, as you can see with these three cards here, um, they do come pretty close to getting to that 20-point um, minimum. However... Sometimes you want to hold off and wait till you get a wager card because that'll just double, triple, or quadruple the total you get from that expedition. So there's a strategy in the, the order in which you play your cards. The only, this is a really important rule, you can only play a wager card as the first card of an expedition. So you can't play a two, three, four, and then a wager card. You have to start an expedition with the wager card. Um, so it's kind of... Uh, betting on something before you really know the full results. So there's kind of a gamble in this game because you might not be able to complete an a expedition to get to a certain number of points to exceed the 20 points. And you can play multiple wager cards. Yeah, you could play multiple ones, not on the same turn, but on other turns. Yeah. So I could play, if I had another blue wager, I could put it right here, which would now triple whatever the total is for that column, which is pretty cool but also a little, it's even more risky in case I don't hit at least 20 points in that column. Okay. And if you play eight cards in one expedition, you get an extra 20 points, 20 points. at the end. Yeah. Yes. So we'll, we'll keep playing and kind of show you how it flows because maybe it's hard to understand it unless you start to see it all. So I'm going to play this yellow expedition card right here, and I'm going to take this one. <laughs> I played a card and I picked a card. <sighs> okay. So Brandon's been discarding a lot of cards, which is really interesting. You're done? I played a card and picked a card. Okay, so... Ugh, I guess... This one has a foot in the snow. <laughs> Okay, I guess for my play a card, ugh. Maybe I will get rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of this two of green, a uh, four of green, and then I'm gonna pick up a card. Hmm. 
What you gonna do? I'm debating it. <laughs> okay. So we've discarded the white six, and I think I'm going to discard this white wager card, and I'm going to pick a card. I guess we'll show them what cards we got. So I'm happy about this. Now, that's good news for me, as well as this. Like, this is pretty awesome to have that. I don't have very good cards right now. Uh... Wow. So we've both of us have been getting rid of the white cards, which is interesting. And nothing like getting the third one. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I guess what I'm going to do, I still would like to see if I could collect even more cards of these colors. That would be great. Hmm. So right now, he's collecting, well that was interesting, he's, <laughs> he's collecting yellow, blue, and red, but he just discarded a blue. Yep. But he put that down, so which is, what's interesting is... That's a wager, and if he doesn't get his 20 points, it's negative twice as much. So, very interesting there. Yep. Hmm. So, like I said, picked up the third one of those, and I'm going to pick up Hila. I got that one. Okay, so I'm going to... Play this, put it in the discard, and I'm going to pick up one of these. That's what I got. Okay. I'm going to play that one and pick up this one. Okay. Ooh, what am I going to play? Jeez. <laughs> Ugh. I guess I'm gonna play... I'm gonna play this one here. And I'm gonna pick up this one. I'm going to... This is what I've got right now. Oops. This one down and pick up this one. Alright, so Brandon's getting the greens. Interesting that that red wager card went down. So what card to play? All right, well, I'm going to play my three of yellow. So that will go on top of the wager card. I'm now building into this expedition. I'm trekking into the Egyptian desert right now. And I'm going to take the red wager card that has appeared. Thank you for playing that. You're welcome. So now that he's played the three, I could play this one. He cannot <laughs> use it. And it's no longer taking space in my hand. Yeah. Can only put wager cards as the first cards in the expedition. So sometimes you strategically will hold on to cards to keep them from the other player. So Brandon was holding that because he knew if, if he put it down, I was going to grab it and I was going to play it in my yellow expedition. All right, so play a card, pick a card. I'm gonna play my red wager, and I am going to pick up, I'm gonna pick up this six. I'm gonna pick it right back up. I'm gonna play my green, and then pick up from over here. All right, I'm gonna play, ooh, what do I wanna play? So I, I could easily just play this one, but I'm thinking, huh, do I take a risk and try to get more wager cards to multiply exactly how much points I could earn? Do I want to do that? Could Brandon be holding on to those wager cards? You never know. So I think what I'm going to do for play a card, pick a card is, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to play the red too, and I'm going to, I'm going to pick up one of these. So 
getting high numbered cards are wonderful because they're worth more points. So it's really cool when you get a high numbered card. I'll play my second wager card. Wow. So now that's triple. Triple points, whatever you get there. Could be triple positive or triple negative. So I'm going to now play my three of red. And you just stack it on top of the last one. So as you can see now with my red, two plus three is five. Uh, I would currently lose points for this one if the game were to end right now because I still haven't hit 20 points minimum. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this blue five back. <laughs> I think my strategy is paying off. I'm playing the three, and then pick up. Oh, I can't see the numbers. Oh, wait, I think it's supposed to be this way. Yeah, so we can see the wager icons. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna play this. Um, I'm gonna play the six red and I'm gonna pick a card. Play this four green. Pick a card. To be shown the cards that you're getting. All right. So I'm going to play this two blue that I just pulled. Yay! Put it there, and I'm gonna pick a card. Yes. Play this five green. Okay, he's going for the green. Okay, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to play this six yellow, and I'm going to pick, all right, that's what I got. I'm going to play the four red, because he can't play it now, and pick up this. Hmm, all right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this, seven of yellow, and I guess what I'm gonna do is pick a card. Ooh, interesting. So my last two cards have been this, which changes things a little bit, gives me some ideas. I'm gonna put that down, pick this up. And got that, which is perfect. <laughs> because I have these. All right. Well, I'm going to play <laughs> this the five of blue. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the white. I'm going to play this. And pick up. All right, so Brandon and I now are both exploring the ocean together. So that always adds a little bit of fun because now we're both going to be competing for those blue cards, especially since he put down a wager. So that to me makes me think that he's got some blue cards, otherwise, it would be a big risk for him to do that. All right, I'm going to play the six of blue and I'm going to take this white wager card. You're playing my second oh, wager blue. Okay. Pick up. All right, cool. Oh, let's see, let's see. So now there's no more blue wager cards. Right. Because all three have been played. One, two, and three. Yep. 
I'm going to play this, <laughs> and I'm going to take that. Well, all right. I'm exploring the Himalayan mountains now. I'm going to play that and pick up this. Ooh. Now, as you can see, here's what's left in the deck. And part of the strategy is being able to explore as much as you can before the deck runs out, because that's when the round ends. So sometimes it's a race to get as many cards played as possible, and sometimes there's an advantage to not um, there's an advantage to not actually pulling from the draw pile because it will get it will have the, the game the round end quicker. So sometimes it's strategic to actually take from the discard piles here. All right, I'm going to play my um, nine of yellow, and let's see. And I'm going to take this one. Okay. I'll play my eight. Pick up this one. Okay. I'm going to play my ten yellow. And I'm going to take this one. Play my nine. Pick up this one. Okay, so as you can see, for this one, I have already exceeded my 20 points, and I cannot put any more in the yellow column because the 10 is the highest number. So this is basically a complete expedition for me. Uh, I still have this, which is under 20. I've got 9, 10, 11, so I need 9 more points unless... Otherwise, I'm going to lose points at the end of this round. And for this one, I've got 11, 12, 13, so I also still need to get more for blue. Okay, so... And I just realized the cards go from 2 to 10, not 1 to 10. Oh, 2 to 10, that's right. It's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. So, hmm. I guess I'm going to play my... Uh, I'm getting worried now. I'm going to play this white one and take the 5. <laughs> I'm going to play this 10. And I got... Double the amount of points and I'm over 20. So, yeah. Wow, very good. Cool. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got eight. Woo. So, that's even 20 at the end. Played that and I'll pick up this. That's great. You got those eight cards. I got that. All right. I'm going to play the third wager card in the white. <laughs> so there's right now a lot at stake there. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up... I guess I'm just going to pick up from here. Yes! So this is what's happening right now. We are very happy about all of this goodness. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I am going to put this down because I don't need it. And he can't play it. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to play three of white there. Got to make up those points now, and I'm going to pick a card from here. I'm going to put this five down. <laughs> pick up here. All right. I'm playing my four in the white, and I'm going to pick up. <sighs> Once you really know what everybody's doing and what you're doing, it gets faster. Yeah, the beginning of the rounds, you're kind of figuring out which expeditions do you want to embark on, which will get you the highest bang for your buck. All right, I'm going to play my five. I'm just going up three, four, five, and I'll take a card. And now I've got the six. I just wrapped up all these white ones, so I'm going to pick up a card. Oh, it's too bad I can't play that one. We have about one, two, three, three more pickups That's to go. kind of scary. Which means you can only play like three more cards. Ah, and I've got so many I still want to play. <laughs> <laughs> so I better hurry up and get my 20 points down here. Yeah. So you gotta pick a card somewhere. Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, I'm gonna play this 8 white. And I'm going to pick up the 
or red. I still have a lot of cards I want to play, so I don't want to take from the draw pile. <laughs> I would like to extend this round so I could uh, get more points with my expeditions. And i rather take it from there because he does not have 20 in each one of these, so I want to hurry up and get the game over <laughs> so that he doesn't get points. Mean. So I'm going to pick up as much as I can from over there. And no matter what you're stuck with in your hand at the end of the game, it's not negative points for what's in your hand. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put down this 10 of blue, and I'm going to take this green. So I think I've hit my 20. Yep, so that one's good as well. You went? Yes. All right, only three more cards left. Oh my gosh. That means you can only basically maybe play three cards. Yep, which I think is perfect. I'm going to play my nine red. Take this one. <laughs> and I'm going to play my nine of white. Yes. And I guess I'll just take this. Doesn't really matter. All right. So if I had enough turns... I could easily have gone for a whole lot of a whole nother expedition and get all my points, but not enough turns. I got the ten white, and I could just take this to end the end it. All right. I think yeah, that's pretty much the end of the round. So now let's go over scoring. As you can see, I've played a lot more cards than Brandon, but that's not always the best thing because if you don't hit at least that twenty point uh, minimum, then you're going to lose points. So let's just go through maybe color by color exactly how many points we all got. So the way it starts out is you first add up all of the numerical uh, cards. Okay, so I'll, I'll hold this up so you can see. We've got 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9. So that gives us 15. That gives 20, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. What are you pointing here for? Because the camera's over here. Okay. So 20 minus 20, which is the cost of the expedition, is zero. So this didn't even get me any points. So even though it looked all beautiful and I had a wager card, the wager card just doubles whatever the point, the, the subtotal is. So zero times zero is zero. So I'll just flip those face down because those are not worth anything. All right, let's do your green column. So show us how that's going to work. All right. So 10. 19. 19. 27. 32, 32, 36, 36, 39, 39, minus 20. So 39 minus 20 is 19. Wow. Times 3. What is 19 times 3? 57. I'll check on the calculator. Let's see. 19 times 3? Yes. Times 3 is 57. Right wow. Holy, holy. 57 points. That's 57 points. Yeah, yes. I might have to go grab a pen. So 57. Do I get a pen, actually? Sure. Perfect. <laughs> so Brandon got 57 just for his green. And I got zero for my red. So let's go to our blue expedition. All right. So I've got 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 6 is 21, 22, 23. So 23 minus the 20 point cost is three, but I did get a wager card. So three times two is six. six. So I got six points, that's it. Right now, Brandon has a huge lead with 57. So what'd you get for your blue expedition? Zero, because this is 20 points here. Oh. Take away 20 points is zero times three. Oh, so, zero. so if he had just at least one more point, he would get Great. He would get triple for every point he had. All right, so here's my here's my best expedition, I think. This was my Himalayan mountains. I had all three wager cards, so whatever the subtotal is, we're going to quadruple. This is quite rare to get all three played. I don't think it's happened very often with us. No. So we have 10. I'll just take uh, this out to be the 4 and the 6. We'll make it 20. This 5 will make it 25. Um, this will make it 25 plus 9 is 34, 34 plus 3 is 37, 37 plus 8 is 45, 
minus 20. 45 minus 20 is 25. It's 15. Oh, 45 minus, 45 minus 20 is 25. Oh, it's 25. 25, yeah. 25 times 4 is 100. Oh my god! <laughs> I got 100 <laughs> points! That is amazing. I don't know if I've ever gotten that many points from one expedition. Yeah, sometimes we only make 100 points in our entire I know, yeah. game. And this is just one round. You're supposed to play three rounds. Yeah. Do you have any more? No, I'm done. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's do my last one, which is yellow. So I'm going to separate the wager card. Uh, I've got, let's do 10 plus the 7 and 3, make it an easy 20. So we already know that's the cost alone. Yep. So 15 times 2 30. 30. All right. So we'll add it all up. Brandon, you got 57. 136. And I got 136 for that round. Oh my gosh. Thank me. Damn. Okay. I will say that. I think overall, I think I win this one a little bit more, which is interesting. This is one of the few games yeah. I feel like I actually beat Brandon in. Yeah. Uh, but really the game isn't over because there's three rounds. So every round there's the potential to make a ton of points. Um, and one other cool variant of this game that comes with the updated version that we have is if you flip over the board, you'll see that there is a special, I'll hold it up so you can actually see it, this really cool extra sixth expedition, and it's it's really awesome purple and black cover. It kind of looks like you're exploring another planet, and the game comes with this whole extra set of purple expedition cards, which are just really not just pretty but they add another element to the game and um, give you another chance to make a lot more points so that is lost cities yep <laughs> and definitely check out this game it's it's super portable it's another one that we easily fit into a travel bag whenever we head off somewhere and want to bring a, a really quick easy game we've we've even played this on planes yes. somehow <laughs> we somehow find the space to do it in our little plane area um so thanks so much for watching our video on lost cities and uh we will see you in our next video so take care of people watchers we'll see you in the next one bye